Hello from Bear River, January 10th, 2023. The flow is 3,000 cubic feet per second. It's uh, moving and grooving, flowing and growing, and that's how close it is to the parking lot. And there's our rock. It's uh, the 5,000 CFS rock. Everything else is under, but we're at 3,000, and that's why it's like that. The emerging wetland on the tip of the island kind of got punished and so the trees aren't standing up. They're a little bent over there. That's what willows do, I suppose. See right here. They used to stand up, but I think it's the root wad. But they hang on. That's how those willows are. And we're so grateful to be here at Bear River. And we're real grateful. Uh, I just heard on the news, which I already knew, that Rollins and Combi are spilling. And I know Camp Far West is spilling. And this river here is energized. It's running. Running from its headwaters to its confluence with the Feather, its confluence with the Sacramento, into the Delta, and out to the sea. Because that is the water cycle. That's what water is supposed to do. What if some of your body said, Oh, I'm going to keep all this blood here to myself and not let it circulate through the body because we want all the blood. What would happen to your body? Well, that's what we're doing to our Mother Earth. we got to let the water flow because when it circulates, it actually generates more water. It creates groundwater and a lot of energies that we as human beings simply don't understand. We need to believe and accept we don't know everything. And a functioning, flowing river, a healthy watershed, leads to far more than making the environmentalists happy. It leads to a living earth, one that can sustain us. We can't let human greed get in the way of our very chances of survival. Now, the willows here, I think, got kind of punished too. That's okay because that's how they evolved and that's who they are and how they operate. And we're a lot closer to the rock now. Everything's under except Mr. 5000 CFS rock. We'll walk a little further down, but I'm not going to go down to the beach. We already lost the big rocks at the beach. And three more atmospheric rivers. It's not, um, it's coming fairly gently though. We're only getting like an inch, inch and a half in a, a storm period. It's unlike the 12 inches they got back east during storms. So as much as the winds and the floods are damaging on the coast and in the valley, up here in the foothills, they're very beneficial. We can handle this because Bear River is what they call underfit. Its river basin is made for a much larger river. So this doesn't phase Bear River at all. There's one point where I saw it was up to 8,000 um, on its his history within the last five years, probably in 2019, it's my guess. But anyway, you can see how the water actually, oh wow, the high water is right up there. You can kind of see it. So it's above this here. So this was underwater. And you know this tree has probably sat through many floods. Because that is an old willow. So here we are, Bear River. Look at that sand. I bet the people on the coast would really like that. But sorry, we had dams. No sand for you. It's all right here at Bear River, backed up behind what Combi now, but Rollins has quite a large silt pool behind it. Well, there you go. That's our Bear River at 3,000 cubic feet per second. Oh, Matakbeos, and we are all related, and water is life. Mani Wachoni.